I had to call 988 twice during my freshman year of college. I am fortunate that my mom told me about 988 before I left for the dorms. She told me she did a recording in Spanish for it and showed me the recording. At the time, I had no idea what 988 was. But listening to her recording, I was able to find out what it was. I'm very grateful my mom had that opportunity to tell me about it because a few months later, I had my first call. The first time I called, I was in my car on the top of a parking garage contemplating jumping. I never got out of my car. I just stayed inside and called 988. The 988 crisis counselor was calm, asked me where I was, my name, and other standard questions. I told her my first name and only what I felt comfortable with. In the back of my mind, I was worried police officers would show up, so I didn't tell her my exact location, and I did tell her that I was considering suicide. In the calmest voice, she asked, tell me more of what's going on. There was never any judgment in her voice and she was calm the entire time. I told her my situation and she helped me. It might have been because she was a third person or it could have been the fact I couldn't see her face and she couldn't see mine or she is someone I will never know. But something about that call helped me. Knowing that she was there for me made me feel heard. I did go back to my dorm room safely that night. The second time I had to call was for quite the opposite reason. This time, I was in my dorm room having an anxiety attack. I didn't know who to call, but I remember 988 had, um, I remembered 988 and how the first call was successful, so I decided to call again. I had the same experience as I did the first time. The crisis counselor was calm and listened to me. I told her my situation and why I was stressed and anxious, and she only listened until I said, what can I do? That was when she started giving me advice. Maybe it was because she was a complete stranger but she made me realize that life will move on and everything is okay. She was able to calm me down and I was able to move on that day. What I learned about the two calls is that it's okay to change your mind and it's okay to ask for help. Growing up, teachers told me it's okay to make mistakes so long as you learn from them. My parents told me when I was growing up, mistakes happen, it's okay. Now you know not to do that again. I didn't understand how people learn from mistakes. Don't people know not to make those mistakes? I made mistakes. And the feeling I got from those mistakes is something I will take with me. The feeling I got from learning from those mistakes and growing as a person and surviving the lowest point in my life is a feeling I will never forget. I don't know if I would be here if I hadn't called for help. I'm very grateful a service like 988 exists. I was able to get the help I needed at the time I needed it. They were able to give me the wake up call I needed. After my second call, I scheduled a therapy appointment and got my life back together. And that's what I did and all thanks to 988 and the amazing people behind the calls. Thank you. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health crisis or a substance use crisis, please call, text, or chat 988 for free confidential support.